Hey guys, my name is Osama. When you think of the word nuclear, what's the very first thing that comes to your mind? What if I were to tell you that the very first word that comes to my mind when I hear nuclear is sustainability? Well, you might be surprised. In this video, I'll be going through the United Nations Sustainability Developmental Goals. These goals are framework to collectively drive the planet toward solving some of the world's biggest issues. This includes environment, human health, inequality, and many more aspects. In this video, I'll be showing you how nuclear science and technology contributes to making our planet so much more sustainable. Did you know that the nuclear industry collectively contributes to nine out of the 14 UN sustainability developmental goals, which are zero hunger, good health and well-being, clean water and sanitation, affordable clean energy, industry innovation and infrastructure, climate action, life below water, life on land, partnerships for these goals. I'm gonna start off with number one, zero hunger. Nuclear technologies are being used at the moment to improve crop resilience to disease, pests, and the effects of climate change on agriculture. Also, nuclear tech is extensively utilized to evaluate soil composition, which increases soil conservation, productivity, and management. Overall, all of these aspects contribute to helping achieve zero hunger. Number two, good health and well-being. Almost 8 million people worldwide develop cancer per year, and this number is only rising. Radioactive isotopes are harvested from nuclear research reactors and power reactors alike. These are used to not only diagnose cancers, but also used to treat cancers like cobalt-60, which is produced in the heart of Kandu reactors, Canadian deuterium nuclear reactors. Number three, clean water and sanitation. Annually, 5 million people die because they don't have clean access to clean drinking water. And only 15% of the world's population enjoys an abundance of clean drinking water. As populations rise, there's a sharp increase in agriculture and also industrial growth, which all demands fresh drinking water. Fresh water resources are being depleted at the moment faster than they can be replenished. Nuclear technology is powerful because it has the ability to clean wastewater contamination. It can also be used for desalination and improve the accessibility of clean drinking water. Number four, affordable clean energy. 1.3 billion people across the world have zero, yes, zero access to any electricity. This reduces opportunities for education, agriculture, business, industry, and healthcare. It actually increases the divide in society in terms of inequality. Also, half the world's population does not have access to clean cooking fuels. Most of the world actually relies on biomasses, dung, wood, and coal. This is pretty horrible for the environment. As you can see, there's a pretty big demand for clean energy and uh, clean cooking fuels, one of which is electricity around, around the world. Nuclear power is one of the cheapest sources of energy. Another bonus is that it emits zero greenhouse gases during the actual generation of that energy. Number five, industry innovation and infrastructure. The nuclear industry is one of the most innovative industries in the world. Small modular reactors, generation four reactors, recycling of, of nuclear fuel, nuclear batteries. There is so much innovation going on in the nuclear industry. It's mind boggling and there's so much more potential. Number six, climate action. Climate change is a really big issue and around 7 million people die as a result of fossil fuel emissions, 4 million of which die because of the, the production of that energy. Because of its potential to create energy with zero greenhouse gas emissions, it can be used as a very powerful tool to mitigate the risks and impacts of climate change. Number seven, life below water. Nuclear tech is being used very extensively to monitor the health of oceans. The ocean is vast and at the moment it's being impacted by acidification, uh, which in turn has negative impacts on the habitats of marine animal species and also food resources. Marine pollutants like heavy metals, 
pesticides and other pollutants are actively being monitored through nuclear technologies. Just simply being able to monitor the health of our oceans allows the world to come up with innovative solutions to help combat these problems and start implementing ways in which we can reduce our negative impact on the oceans. Number eight, life on land. Environmental risk assessments regularly use nuclear technologies to protect forests and reverse loss of biodiversity. Number nine, and lastly, partnerships for these goals. The nuclear industry across the world has some of the best stakeholder engagement programs. Some examples include CNA, Canadian Nuclear Association, uh, or the CCNS, Center for Canadian Nuclear Sustainability, which ha both have a similar goal in creating partnerships with industry groups, actually collectively bringing together groups on the same platform. Well, there you have it. Those are the nine out of the 14 UN sustainability goals in which nuclear technologies and the collective nuclear industry across the world is helping make an impact on our planet. So the next time you think of the word nuclear, you should be thinking of the word sustainability. Thanks so much. Catch you next time. Bye.